Hi everybody. I'm really glad you've been able to come. Today's the third session and we're moving on. And today there's a new guy. It's the first time he's been to this type of meeting. When you're ready. Hello. My name's Mark. And I'm a... Um, I'm, I'm a hipster. Hi, Mark. Why don't you tell us your story? And remember, you've taken the most difficult step, admitting you're a hipster. Some people take years. I was a normal boy from Northern California. My, my parents raised me well. And I, I was always around normal people. Until not long ago, I, I had good friends. And a few years ago, everything changed. A friend of my sister took me to Primavera Sound. I didn't know he was a hipster. It seemed, he seemed like a normal guy, you know? And I thought, you know, it's just not my thing. And as you know, Jim Jarmusch would say, we're all free human beings. And so I thought, you know, I could go to Primavera Sound or wherever. I don't have to become a hipster. So I went. Yesterday I went to a flea market and I bought these trousers myself because they make me look more interesting. Well, they are pretty rad, actually. The question you have to ask yourself is, do they improve your lifestyle in any way? Are you a better person when you wear them? How's your reading going? Have you finished Game of Thrones, book one? Hey, listen, everybody. This is for you. You're going to be getting the benefit from this. It's going to seem hard and absurd. In the end, you're going to be thanking me. Uh, I haven't felt any improvement. Yesterday, I bought myself 10 secondhand vinyls by bands I don't even know. Martha, it's going to be long and it's going to be difficult. You must be patient. How about you, Brian? How are you? I'm not too bad. I'm not so obsessed with my appearance. And just trying to appreciate and love myself. Uh, the best thing is uh, I haven't been on pitchfork.com for nearly two months. 